Hello ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Pork Chopper here, today looking at the brand new spanking hero, Drongo. He's a carrier which relies on his basic attacks to deal heavy amounts of damage, while his abilities restrict enemies' movement to make them even more vulnerable to Drongo's high damaging attacks. Even though he is a carry, in version 42 any hero can really play any role. So in this video I'm mostly going to talk about my first impressions and some tips and tricks to help you out to play Drongo. Do let me know in the comments down below what you think of Drongo so far, if you have played him yet or not, I want to know. So let's chat about him. In my eyes he's a very standard carry but still very unique with how his kit works. His rad round works so it takes around a second to activate, then you have around 6 seconds to conflict a basic damage to your enemies. How it works is once you say hit an enemy the stack will begin, you will see the debuff time next to the enemy's health and when it runs out the extra basic damage will be dealt. Just a side note that the extra damage is basic damage not ability damage to me sounds a bit weird because radiation round sounds more ability damage to me but I guess it was a balanced choice. But anyway if you keep hitting the enemy with rad rounds the time will keep resetting but of course it will stack the rad damage over time. This will take some time to get used to but once you do it can be very efficient with it. For example if you use rad rounds and get an enemy low and you know when the rad rounds ticks they will die so you can focus on another hero. This is very much needed in team fights, not focusing on a hero that will be dead in a few seconds but either focusing on retreating or dealing damage to another hero. As a carry especially late game that's going to be your prime job is dealing as much damage as possible to win the fight so if you're wasting all your damage on a hero that's going to die in a few seconds you're not being efficient. This of course like I said will take time to get used to knowing how much rad round will be doing. Of course on the weaker heroes which you should be focusing already as a carry you will only need like 2-3 to three shots late game and the rad rounds will do the rest. Upgrading rad rounds only just increases the damage it will deal but it's definitely one of the more favourable abilities I would definitely upgrade first because the extra damage you can deal with this is very significant and it's really good at helping poking the offlaner as well. Yes you have to keep them within range but you really can stack up the heavy damage you can do. And then we have Gag Grenade, upgrading increases the unit range of it and it is instant but does no damage. It's really good for denying enemies that ultimate such as Gideon, if Gideon is low enough you can throw Gag Grenade down and silence him out of his ultimate. So it's really good to help you escape because you throw the Gag Grenade down and the enemies will have to pass through it meaning they can't catch you up with abilities but also to capitalise on their disadvantage. So for example if you are getting ganked you can throw Gag Grenade down and deal huge amounts of damage while they are silenced in there and they will be panicking and then lastly it's really good as a zoning tool say if there's a certain choke point throwing this down can really help say if they're taking raptors or or prime this is a great ability for those situations and especially defending and attacking lanes too if defending the lane you can literally throw gag grenade down right at the entrance of the tower and then the enemy team has a really awkward situation it doesn't last super long but it definitely has enough time to make it worthwhile in those scenarios. And if you combo Grad Grenade with his last ability Boomerang it is really effective. Boomerang pretty much you can aim and throw in a direct line but it depends what your cursor is and if you move it the Boomerang will move with your aim so you can sort of aim it and arc it a little bit to get multiple enemies but it pretty much does damage but more importantly slows the enemy down. If you throw the gag grenade down and then use the boomerang to slow them while they're in the gag grenade they'll be silenced for a longer period of time and then you'll be able to do even more damage while the enemy is doing zero damage to you. Now for its ultimate the only time I really used this ability was just to purely escape and was sort of like a panic eject button. I didn't really use it strategically in many scenarios say for example throw a gag grenade down, use my ultimate to push them in the gag grenade to silence them. I never really got that out. The same with boomerang, I didn't really use boomerang that much in my first game which is the gameplay you're showing but after a while boomerang is a really good poking and slowing tool that can really help him early game. So as you can see with Drongo he has a lot of abilities that are really really good and you want to use frequent and he may be the only carry maybe with Revenant that mana is actually a little bit of a problem. Doesn't mean you should build mana into his deck as much but definitely means that you do have to be aware of your mana because without mana a Drongo is pretty much useless. For cards of course Chaos is going to be a pretty much instant affinity for any carry but there definitely is a lot of other possibilities with his kit in pretty much any other affinity you see 
fit. I haven't really looked in detail on each affinity and cards that'd be really good for him. The problem is, say with his silence, that you would want people slowed while well in his gank grenade. However, gank grenade does no damage, so anything that does damage and slow enemies won't be that beneficial. But I believe there is a card in the all affinity that if you lock it onto someone, slows them heavily for a certain period of time, and that definitely could be really beneficial for gank grenade. But that is something that you may not really want to benefit too much of because again, he will be a carry and you want to just keep dealing significant amounts of damage. Early game I didn't find him having as much use as other carries, again he didn't have the poking tool to help kill the offlaner or push that tower onwards, but mid to late game especially with his rad round scaling, he can be an absolute force to be reckoned with late game. Rad rounds does insane amounts of damage, gag grenade if used correctly is so good at denying the enemy team any sort of good engagement that he can be really really good there. Definitely a unique carry but also a standard carry too. His kit gives him enough viability and creativity to make him more fun to play and interesting to play than some of the more bog standard carries we have like a twin blast or sparrow or even Murk. Doc, but I'm sure some of those heroes will be changed over the next few weeks to months as Epic are doing slight hero reworks across the board this year. So my overall opinion of Drongo, I like him overall, I think he's a very good carry, works well, I don't think he's way too overpowered, he doesn't do crazy amounts of damage or certain card combinations I know of or people know of so far doesn't really make him super super ridiculously OP. He's a really good carry that can definitely shut heroes down well with his gag grenade, Boomerang takes a little bit of skill to aim but again can really help him close down enemies and do insane amounts of damage because I don't think people really realise how much extra damage Rad Rounds does and if you can time it well enough he is going to be a really fun hero to play I would definitely recommend to try him out he is really good if not one of the best if not the best carry right now but that about does it for today's video I know it was a bit of me blabbling on a bit really excited about this hero I definitely enjoyed playing him I played him for about four games so far and if you want to help people out with this new hero comment down below if you have any tips or tricks from me and other players out there because we're all here to learn and play and get better at Paragon. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.